This is the Google Pixel 6, and in my opinion, it's one of the best Android devices out there for 2023. Here's why. This phone still has all of the features of a true flagship phone over a year after its release. Glass back, aluminum frame, great cameras, IP68 rating, wireless charging, and the longevity when it comes to software updates. Also, while this might not be that important to most people, it's one of the most important things to me, which is uniqueness. The design of this phone is really, really unique. And it's one of those things where people either absolutely love it or hate it, but in my opinion, it looks really nice. You definitely can't confuse it for a different phone. Like, is there a Xiaomi phone that looks like this? I think not. It comes in three different colors, sort of sea foam, kind of coral, and stormy black. You gotta love these names. This is the first Pixel phone after the Pixel 3 that really looks like a Google phone again. It has that color separation with the camera cutout, uh, looks really nice in my opinion. And if you really care about smartphones wobbling on tables, this one doesn't. It has a glass back with an aluminum frame all around, with the volume rockers being on the lower right side of the frame, with the power button above them. Looking at the front of the phone, you're greeted with a 6.4 inch AMOLED 90 Hz display, with the resolution of 1080 by 2400. It has Gorilla Glass Victus, which is pretty durable, and overall it's just a really really good display, colors are nice and accurate, viewing angles are great, it's more than bright enough for most situations, and it's a really smooth 90Hz experience. Uh, back when it came out, the display was capped at 60Hz most of the time, even lower than that, but that was quickly fixed with a software update, it would be even better if it was 120Hz, but it's usually much harder to tell the difference between 90 and 120Hz than it is between 60 and 90 so It has a 4614mAh battery battery, that's a number. It charges up to 30 watts, which will give you around a 50% charge in 30 minutes. It also supports 21 watt wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. And it's a decent battery. I'm not really a power user, but before I got the Pixel 6, I was on the iPhone 12 and this is a visible improvement in battery life. Granted, I'm not using always on display in general on phones, I just don't find it that useful. So if you keep the always on display on, it will probably drain a bit more, but like I said, it gets me through the day with no issues. I usually end the day with around 30 to 40% left. It gets me around six to seven hours of screen on time on a full charge, depending on what you're doing. So it's good, it's right there. When it comes to performance, this is the first generation that uses Google's own Tensor chip, and that chip, paired with Android 13, is just wonderful. In benchmarks, it's comparable to something like the A14 Bionic that's in an iPhone 12, but day to day, I really had no issues with performance. It's really fast, and more importantly, it's very capable when it comes to AI, machine learning, computational photography, and stuff like that. There's some great features that go with it, like live transcription, for example. All these phones are smartphones, but this one is like really smart. It has eight gigs of RAM, which is more than enough, and 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. Great full sound with stereo speakers, a bit on the quiet side compared to something like an iPhone 13 or 14, but still a nice experience overall. Amazing haptics, probably the best I ever encountered. Not sure if that's just the Android 13 implementation or the Pixel itself, but they're just great and they improve the day-to-day -day experience so much. It has an under display fingerprint sensor and if there's one thing that I can change about this phone, it would probably be just that. It's fine most of the time, it's fairly fast, it does take a second, but it's just that like 5% of the time when it doesn't work, it can really get annoying. I even try with like both hands and it sometimes it just won't let me in so I have to type in my password. But like I said, this is a small percentage of time. Mostly it works fine. Not the fastest out there, but fast enough. I wish there was also a face unlock option paired with that fingerprint sensor, but you can get by with this. Don't get scared. It's okay. It's just fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about the cameras right now because camera is definitely one of the best things about this phone. It has a dual camera system with a 50 megapixel f1.8 main wide lens and a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide. It records 4K video up to 60 FPS and 1080p video up to 240 FPS. The quality with 240 FPS is debatable, but it can do it and it's super slow motion. It also has a single eight megapixel front facing camera. They can shoot 1080p video at 30 FPS. It's just fine for an occasional selfie. But the back of the phone is where it's at because these cameras are still just tipped up. Like I said, Google can do wonders with computational photography and now with the Tensor chip, it's improved that much more. It has great dynamic range, great colors, photos are really sharp, they hit the contrast just right. It's just, it's a nice package. Especially the main wide camera is just really, really good. Portrait shots are great. Pixel is definitely leading the industry when it comes to portrait photography. And low light photos with night sight are also really 
really, really nice. They pack a lot of details in pretty low lit environments while still not over brightening the image and making it look like it's daytime. So there's that. When it comes to video, Google definitely stepped up their video game with the Pixel 6. It's still not on the iPhone level, but it's really getting better and better every year. And the camera in general can definitely get better with additional software updates. So if you like your smartphone photography, if you're a fan of the Pixel look, Pixel 6 is still one of the top choices when it comes to photography. But putting all that aside, great design, great display, cameras, the thing that makes this phone so attractive in 2023 is the price. You can pick this phone up renewed on Amazon for a bit over 400 to 450. And if you're looking at the used market like eBay and stuff like that, it can go even lower than that, which is honestly nothing compared to what this phone is capable of. If you want a great camera, clean Android experience, a unique vibe and design. At that price point, this phone is one of the best choices out there on the Android side of things. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description if you want to pick up a Pixel 6 for yourself and help support the channel along the way with no additional cost to you, of course. I'll be using the Pixel 6 as my main device and the video of me talking about the switch from an iPhone to the Pixel 6 is going to be up on the channel in just a few days and you can watch it right here. Video over.